Uh, I'm Richard Everson. I work in computer science where I'm a professor of machine learning. And I'm interested in this challenge on digital society because I think our society, the fabric of it, of it has changed radically over the past few years with the advent of digital communications. It gives us the opportunity for democracy across the world in places that couldn't be seen before, the Arab Spring for example, makes us co-create new things, physical products and videos online, all sorts of new opportunities to interact with uh, people electronically rather than face to face. It lets us purchase uh, things from companies abroad and the whole of businesses runs on electronic communication these days. But as well as that, it cuts us off from other people. Uh, we see teenagers in their rooms who are unable to communicate with other people unless it's mediated by an electronic device. We see abuse online, the sort of abuse that couldn't be uh, countenanced before digital society. And of course it lets governments and other organisations pry into our private lives. So this challenge, challenge you might be interested in, is to explore some of the tensions which are set up by this globally networked society that we have. And you should take part in it, be part of it, uh, because it's the society that you're building, the society that you're living in.